Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Ryu Jinx, Aether SX2, Xbox Cloud, as well as Nintendo GameCube. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here, talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on the Steam Deck with Ryu Jinx. Now, if you have a Steam Deck, or if you plan on getting a Steam Deck and you want to emulate Switch games, you should be picking up both Yuzu and Ryu Jinx. They're two different emulators, but they both work extremely well. Having both of them in your arsenal is definitely the way to go here. And Ryu Jinx has just made the installation process a heck of a lot easier. Ryu Jinx has just announced that they are available on Flathub, so if you have a Steam Deck, go into desktop mode, go into Discover Software, which is basically the Steam Deck App Store, and you'll be able to find and install Ryu Jinx. The process is simple and straightforward, and the results should be amazing. Now, even though Ryu Jinx is still technically early on in development, reportedly here performance on the Steam Deck is pretty darn good. Animal Crossing is running at close to 30 frames a second. Metroid is at 60 frames a second. I would love to show you some gameplay here, but we have two major issues. Number one, I still don't have a Steam Deck. And number two, even if I did have a Steam Deck, Nintendo seems pretty hellbent on removing every single Switch emulation on the Steam Deck video they can find. Next up, we're talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on Android with Aether SX2. Yesterday, we talked about PCSX2 and how it was getting automatic GS hardware fixes, which is something that really helps out the end user experience. It looks like Aether SX2 is also going to be getting the same improvement. Now, to keep things at a high level, GS stands for Graphics Synthesizer. So what the emulator is basically doing is optimizing settings on a per game basis, eliminating the need for the end user to tinker around with things. If you don't like fiddling around with your emulator, you will really like this feature. Now, this feature is not yet available on the main build of Aether SX2. If you pick up Aether SX2 from the Google Play Store, you won't have these automatic GS hardware fixes yet. You will have to pick up the alpha build of Aether SX2, which is available on AetherSX2.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Just make sure you're picking up at least version 1451 here. Now, just as a friendly reminder here, these are the experimental development builds. There's no guarantee that these features will make it into the Google Play Store. These exist more or less for testing. So if you're looking for support, if you're looking for stability, this is probably not the way to go. But if you want to be on the cutting edge of things and take matters into your own hands, then yes, check one of these versions out. Next up here, we're talking about fellow YouTuber and fellow Ginger, Ginger of Oz. Now, I definitely recommend checking out this YouTube channel. They've got a lot of great videos. And most recently here, they made a portable Nintendo GameCube. Now, Ginger of Oz is no stranger to making custom handhelds. Here is a custom handheld N64 that turned out great. The entire story of this handheld is incredibly interesting. It all started with a fake render that was created a number of years ago, and they decided to make a real thing based on that render. They succeeded, and it is pretty amazing. Last up here, if you're an iOS user, I definitely recommend switching over to Android sooner rather than later. It's a lot better than you think. But if you have an iPad or an iPhone and you use Xbox Cloud Gaming Services, things just got a heck of a lot better. Xbox Today announced huge performance improvements for iPhone and iPad on Xbox Cloud Gaming. Unfortunately here, we have no idea what these improvements entail. Microsoft or Xbox here was completely vague and have just stated that there are now improvements, some pretty massive improvements. And they've talked about some positive feedback here. So uh, we have seen a significant increase in positive player feedback since implementing these changes. Higher engagement, 35% longer play times. I don't know what this means in the background. I don't know what they improved, but it looks like they improved something. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Ryu Jinx, Aether SX2, the pretty cool custom GameCube handheld, or Xbox Cloud Gaming on iOS. Just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.